All right, so we got Black Ops 6 Zombies character and story. The intel drop description video. Right, here I'm we excited go. excited about this game, and we can't wait to see fans got get some, uh, some character intel. Anthro drops. At the end of Cold War, our heroes kind of saved the day. We had contained the Dark Aether. Richtofen imprisoned them somewhere. Fast forward six years, and our crew have been in the deepest, darkest hole that the director could find to conceal them from the rest of the world. And we will be breaking them out and discovering the state of the world. Bro, we're, we're like one of those little islands that put in, in, in the specific change. ocean. Prison changes people. That's kind of inevitable. Our crew <laughs> for zombies this game is Weaver, Dr. Gray, Carver and Maya. The first three. Well, hi Maya. Hammers, How Cold you doing? War. You got Weaver, who's this grizzled veteran, used to be a CIA spy, spec ops soldier. He's been through a lot since the events of Cold War. I think it's hit him harder than most because he failed his team and he's had six years to have that guilt amass. Okay. Gray has undergone a transformation. She's physically toughened up a lot compared to the kind of lab geek that she was, and that's going to be very important now that she's boots on ground. Oh, Carver she's doing push-ups. hardcore military guy. He's been stripped of his rank. Trying to find his place could be something that he could possibly struggle with. Oh. You're supposed to be dead. Maya is a new character that we're adding She's coming into this story, desperately trying to find her brother. She's had to make an unlikely ally. In hey, Maya, Cold listen, Pet. I'll find your brother. Maya. I'll find him. She's with me. Dr. Peck was a villain from the previous game, so they are not happy to see him. That kind of adds suspicion to Maya's character in everyone's eyes. Like, why are you hanging out with this guy? He's part of the reason we are here. You, you can't trust him. But they quickly realize that the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So they all are aligned on wanting to hunt down Richtofen and getting revenge. All of us here have a common enemy. The guy who locked you up. We're going to be having hero character interactions, so they're going to be speaking to each other. All those years behind the bars. Feels good to get hands on again. Pace yourself, Carver. I think we're just getting started. That's only going to be happening when they play the dedicated crew. Okay. They interact with each other. You get a lot more information about how their relationships sort of change. Look alive, Gray. And you can still play as any other operator. But if you choose to play as these hero characters, you're just going to get a richer experience because there's just more narrative content. To put the players actually into the characters that are living the story, it brings back that tightness that I think fans loved. And Man, that Omni movie looks crazy. This time around. The team's have been working so hard, and we're really excited for everyone Monkey to clap. experience the characters in the story in Black Ops 6. <laughs> that monkey clap. All right. We got Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Um, at this point, I'm just waiting for the beta. Bro. I'm, just, I'm just keeping it honest with you. Uh, now, we usually get, like, Call of Duty betas at least, what? Bro, I think we get, like, we get, we get Call of Duty betas, like, at least, like, a month before so we might get like a call of duty beta well we're well it, there is no might we're gonna get a call of duty uh beta at around like september that's what i, I think like it's, they're probably gonna like make us wait like september 20 something uh obviously we all know that if you go to uh cod next like there's like a lot of like you know twitch streamers and youtubers you know who are like you know who main call of duty and stuff like that as their content uh they're most likely gonna get invited to cod next and play the game and show us it in in Tells what they like about the game and stuff like that. They do that every single year. Um, and so I'm, I'm going to for sure, you know, stop by in between, you know, some people and see what they say about it. Um, but to be honest with you, man, listen, when I get my hands on that beta, bro, you best believe, bro, bro. It's, bro, it's going to be like I'm writing a whole, like, William Shakespeare, bro. William Shakespeare, Steven Spielberg script out there, bro. Because I'm reading down everything that I write. Bro, bro, if I don't like something, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write it down. If I like something, I'm going to write it down. I just got to keep it real and keep it honest because that's the only way, you know, we're going to get better. And, you know, I, I can't just sit here and say, oh, my God, everything is great. I'm going to play the beta, see how I like it, see what it is, da 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 da, -da. Um, See what I don't like, write it down, and then, and then tell them because I don't want to, you know, sit here and, you know, and, but here's the thing. I'm not going to go in with a negative mindset either. I'm not going to go in thinking, okay, well, this is trash. This was trash. This is trash. Like, no, because at that point, you're going in with this terrible mindset and this negative like, 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 bro, like that stuff is real. Like if you go into something with a negative mindset, most likely you're going to get something, you're going to get like nothing but negativity out of it. So you, you want to go in there with, with just all eyes open and just, you know, see what happens. So whenever the beta does come through, bro, listen, I'm, I'm going to test the game out, see what I like, see what I dislike. And, um, you know, hopefully I don't dislike anything. Hopefully I like the game and, uh, you know, we're going to see, you know, how everything is whenever the beta comes through. 
Um, but one thing about these characters and stuff like that, I'm going to be honest with you. I did not play Cold War, um, um, uh, what do you call it, like story mode. So I did not know um, who this guy. I, he looked a little familiar, but I didn't know his name. Uh, a lot of these guys, uh, a lot of these characters, I can't lie to you. Uh, Maya, that's your name. Hey, how you doing, Maya? What's up? How you doing? Um, so a lot of these uh, characters are basically, they, they basically have like some type of like little connection and stuff like that. And to be honest with you, bro, like, and I'm going to be like fairly honest because I don't even know, like, I don't even know we're going to have like, multi, like multiple like zombie maps or whatever, or they're just going to give us like one big zombie map because I actually watched like the 17 minute gameplay, which I really want to like, I, I kind of want to watch that again and like give like a more like insight of like what I like and stuff like that. I might actually like do that again. And, uh, put it up on YouTube and stuff like that because there's a lot, bro. There's so much I wanted to like say, but I was so starstruck and so like shocked at what I saw that like I couldn't really say anything. So I kind of want to like want to like do that, not redo it. Like I want to keep my initial reaction up, but I want to uh, like definitely like you know um, break down a lot of things that I liked and you know stuff like that. So uh, I might do that 17 minute reaction thing again. So if you see that again, just know that it, it is just basically me uh, speaking more basically. Um, and oh. And so, yeah, one more thing I wanted to talk about. Um, obviously, that you know, whenever they say with these characters, if you if, if you and three other people, if you guys all pick, like, different characters, whatever, they're all going to have, like, dialogue, whatever, which is pretty nice. And, um, bro, I was, I'm more impressed about, like, the map. The map is humongous. This map, give me one second. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to look at it again. This whole map is humongous, bro. Because not only do you start off in, like, a jail or whatever, then you break out the jail and then you get into like this and then you get into like the little main room where you see some zombies or whatever. I do like how like whenever like you unlock a door, there's like there's like little something that happens. I think uh if you actually go watch the 17 minute gameplay that's out on YouTube right now, whenever you um I think one of the one of the first doors that you open, you would see like a cop like trying to run or whatever and a zombie jumping on him and, and biting him and stuff like that. Like, it's crazy. Like, I, I love, like, I well, almost knocked over my water bottle. I love little stuff like that. It, it, it's crazy. So, um, the map is absolutely humongous, bro. You get to get on a boat and travel to, like, it's like, a, like another cruise ship and stuff like that. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. And then, like, you get, you get, bro, you get to get on, like, another boat and then go to, like, this, like, little private island, whatever. And then there's, like, something underground under that island. Bro, it's absolutely ridiculous. So, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys did enjoy my reaction to this because, bro, I am absolutely pumped uh, for zombies. But also, listen, I'm pumped for that multiplayer too. So I can't wait till that beta comes through. Um, and again, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna write down everything that I like and I, and that I don't and you know that I don't like or whatever. Um, because I mean that's how we you know that's, that's how we progress and that's that's how we get better. You know I don't wanna you know sit here and lie. You know even if it, even if Call of Duty doesn't like that. You know I hope that they can like I'm not one to disrespect nobody. I'm not gonna. Like, if I say that I don't like something, I'm not going to be like, oh, my God, Call, Call of Duty, you stupid. Like, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to disrespect them or nothing. But I am going to, you know, say what I like and what I don't like, you know. So, uh, you know, even though, you know, Call of Duty, if they like that, they don't like that, you know, um, I, I hope that they don't. I hope that Call of Duty doesn't take criticism to heart. Does that make sense? I hope that they that they be like, you know what? OK, cool. I understand this, that, 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 because. There's some, you know, gaming companies. There, there's some development, like development um, uh, uh, teams out there, bro. That man, you say one bad thing about their game, it's GGs. Like they don't, they bro, they won't look at you. They won't, uh, they won't, they won't partner with you. Like it, it, it's just ridiculous. So uh, hopefully, you know, Call of Duty can like at least take one and be like, okay, you know, wait, we messed up on that. Let's see if we can change that before the game comes out. You know, like at least they can like, like hopefully Call of Duty can do that because you know. Uh, you never know how you know people would like react and stuff like that. Like I understand people take time out their day to, you know, make these games and stuff like that. But I'd rather tell you, you know, what everybody don't like instead of being like, oh, everything's great, everything's good. Like no, I'd rather tell you, you know, what's wrong so you can fix it. And then when the game comes out, you know, everything will be nice. So make sure you guys like this. I messed up with my outro, but guess what it is with this. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys did enjoy. Just to fix them out and peace.